At this point, should you guys even be surprised that I want to redo my bedroom? I mean, when am I not DIYing? Will I ever be satisfied? I don't know. Watch this video to find out. So here's a good example of Instagram versus reality. Number one, the way I look. Second, I've been seeing people on TikTok who are redesigning and painting their walls. Use the app Procreate on an iPad to like design out their walls before they tape it and paint it. So I've been trying to do that. It just, I'm not as good as they are. Here's what I've come up with so far for our choices. Here's choice number one, which I kind of like. I'm digging. Here's choice number two, fun, messy. Three, not crazy, but a little bit funky. And not my favorite, not my least favorite. What do you guys think so far? So this is currently our room. So bland, so flat. Yes, the beds are the best decision we've made in our relationship. The problem is CB2 or wherever I got this headboard from stopped making that red, red velvet? Nope, that's a cupcake. Green velvet headboard, which has been my favorite thing. I love this color in the light. It's so gorge mix more just board. We don't know what to do about the wall. So I've decided to paint it to make it look some kind of the design so it doesn't look so off. Like it doesn't look like two beds pushed together. What do you think? I love it. I think it's a lot of potential. Do you think the beds putting together has saved our relationship? <laughs> Not really, but it was nice. It's cozy. <laughs> what are you talking about? We were breaking <laughs> on the verge of breaking up because you snore and I starve it. Okay. No, we were, we were. <laughs> Everything was fine. Just just for scale, can you lay across the bed? You're six four. Oh my god. What? A decision hat has been made. Thrilled, thank you, love. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised. We decided to go with a design that like I didn't even think of to begin with, the one playing around in Procreate. You guys might have seen it. So if you guessed the geometric thirds, then you were right. So I think what I'm gonna do first is, is move the bed and set things up. I'm going to take some blue painter's tape, but it's tape with plastic wrap attached to it for the floor, which is great, because then you just put this tape alongside it and then it folds out and there's already plastic on it, it's great. I started by just pulling everything away from the wall so I can get back there and align the tape. I'll probably push all this stuff even further once we decide to start painting, but just enough room for me to do the lines. I very quickly realized because we have this little extra part of our wall, I had to redo one side so that they were perfectly even creating the same angles. But what I'm excited about now is I'm gonna go ahead and cover the top of our headboard with this plastic cover because I don't need to take the headboard off necessarily right now to do just the top color. I'm just gonna cover it. And since it's not a ton of surface area, I'm gonna go ahead and already paint one with a brush. Wish me luck. So here's the first color I'm gonna start with. This is a Sharon Williams. Color is it in this? Eye catching? Is that what it is? It's in a satin. Ooh, I can see it. Wow. Okay. So the inspiration behind this is actually that mirror, which I love because it's like kind of a neon vibe without being super bright. And it just pairs really well with these other pastels. So we're gonna be putting this there. Here we go. So here's our first coat. This one's a little bit more obvious to see through. So we're definitely gonna have to hit that with a second coat. And this looks like it's still drying, but I'm liking the way it's coming together. It's funky and fun. And this is our final color. This is a lilac, Sherwin-Williams. And you know, I did have like paint swatches that I used to pick these colors out. We're gonna see how it all turns out. Okay, so. I don't hate it. This is the end of day one, coat one, but I think it's fun. I don't know. Is it fun? Guys, did I make a huge mistake? I don't know, let's see. I am going to go ahead and take off that top paint so that I can see it without this blue color. Otherwise it kind of throws my eyes around. Like, I don't know if it looks good or not. <laughs> now that everything is off, Obviously, I would have to put tape back on and just redo those sides with the touch-ups, but I also don't hate it. It makes it feel more geometric 
and I feel like that green is nicely finally coming out to match our mirror. And then I've got this little fun light in the corner, which kind of like goes with all of these lights. So I'm not hating it, guys. I might need to change some of the pillow colors so that one might have to go. Whew, I'm out of breath because I just rearranged the pillows. <laughs> So finally, you can see our disco ball is up. Here are the pillows that I picked out at Home Goods tonight. They are lilac and greenish yellow, and then I already own those pink ones. I just feel like finally the size is the right size, but here's the conclusion I made. That headboard, it just still doesn't work. So we're gonna have to find a replacement. I might have to DIY build my own, which is fine. But this is really why I wanted to create Swapskis, which is why I will take this time now to tell you about Swapskis. Swapskis is a one-to-one -one home decor trading platform app that I am building along with a gorgeous, gorgeous group of girls, gorgeous, gorgeous girls, build apps to better the environment. We are in the beta, making the beta application and we are looking for investors. So even if you got like a hundred dollars, I will take it. Help us change the world. So the color I picked was too yellow. This is what it kind of turned out to look like. And this was the color I was actually trying to replicate. So I've come back and we've gotten just a small sample of a more greenish lime to put over our kind of mustardy color. Surprise, I'm never satisfied. So now we're gonna try our new lime color on top of this yellow. After all of this, the whole reason why I did this whole video was so that I could keep my headboard and make something that made the headboard look okay there. And I just, I just don't think it looks good. So I think I'm gonna take the headboard down. I'm gonna paint the design the rest of the way and I might need to make a headboard. You guys stick with me on this one. Here comes the new green. And it's definitely more of that lime green that we wanted. This is Benjamin Moore Snow Cone Green. When I did the RV, you guys see me use this and it's like a paintbrush. It's gonna be a lot easier than the brush brush. Okay, let's do it. So I'm pretty much, well, I'm also watching uh, Love is Blind on Netflix, but I'm pretty much getting rid of all the dark green now. I took off the bed skirts, got rid of our backboard, and I just feel like now it's finally coming together and I can't wait for our new rug. I thought it might be fun to do this color, which is that color, which is trying to be that color, in the corner. So I just put up some blue tape. We're gonna see what happens. It might be cute. Let's do it. Let that dry out for a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that paint peel. Yay, I'm out of breath, but I'm excited because our new rug just came in. I got this from Society6, which for how modern their designs are, it was surprisingly affordable and it's gonna look so good, so let's set it up. After much trial and error, we got ourselves here. It doesn't go all the way to the end, which we're just not gonna look at. I'm trying to get that stain out that it came with. We're working on that. And Jared said it looks like a little child's room. All this work. Remember how this was just supposed to be a video about like me painting a headboard on my wall? Now I'm making a headboard. <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but I just went to my local lumber store and I got two really thin plywood pieces. I wanted them to be light enough so that I could drill them into the wall, but I have no idea what design to do to. I've looked up some stuff with like wooden dowels, pool noodles. I'm kind of all over the place. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna play with this design a little bit. This vlog has gone on too long. I'm finally finishing up our wall. Got my two pieces of plywood from Home Depot. Had to make two because I couldn't fit one long enough in the back of my car. I'm gonna drill them into my wall and hang some pictures I found. And I'm gonna hope that that's cute enough. So please. Okay, so this is the happiest I've been so far with our progress. It actually looks like a headboard. It is a couple inches short on this side, but listen, no one's ever over here except for me. So we're just gonna like keep looking at this cute side. And here are the photos I picked out for the wall. And I'm going for this like still groovy, sort of funky theme, but overall, I'm really digging it. Okay, here it is, the final reveal. Ta-da! 
I love how many pillows we have and I love how the wood turned out to just be a nice faux headboard. There's me, hi. I love how funky it feels. There's a ton of pillows. We are obsessed with pillows. We do not have a shortage, that's for sure. And I think it turned out really well. The colors are funky. The rug's a little small, but I love the rug from Society6. I think the colors work really well together. I love the geometric pattern. I think the artwork that we picked out complements it. Everything from those pinks, those purples, and even Pickle Rick over there helping out with the green. <laughs> so here it is. The headboard after all worked out. Even though it touches on this side and not the other, we're just, again, ignoring that. We think it's unique. And then if you come over here, we have this little triangle that we think is fun and funky. And it goes really well with all of our lights. I also am just loving how the room looks at night. Like, it is such a vibe. I'm overall happy with the process. What do you guys think? Do you have any tips, final things for me to add? Let me know in the comments below. Everything I used will be linked below. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. I mean, it's kind of like DIY, not DIY. <laughs> Maybe that's gonna be the name of this. Hmm. 